Hello everyone, Shroom Raver here, and today I'm excited to be bringing you uh, my first game from Season 1 of this new league called the SMD, the Screw My Draft League. Um, a fantastically fun idea created, I believe, by uh, Lars L. Siddle, uh, which basically, uh, we don't pit draft our own team, everyone else in the league drafts your team for you. So it's basically, you know, how badly can we screw each other over. Um, I did put a video up uh, a little while ago uh, about my draft. <clears throat> there was no reasoning, it was about 45 seconds long, it was just showing who's on my squad. Um, but yeah, I've got actually a fairly decent-ish looking team. Um, as opposed to others who have horrific weaknesses all through. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into our first game. And it is against none other than Lars, aka El Scizor, my man, the creator of this league and a fantastic battler in many other leagues. Uh, his links will be down in the description below. Make sure you go and check him out. He is a fantastic guy. He recently had a very successful run in Season 5 of the GBA. <clears throat> and yeah, he's just a very good battler overall. So, you know, check out his stuff. He's very entertaining. He's got some fantastic series, including the, um, the, the his, his sort of talk thing. Uh, it's something to do with a pincer. I've forgotten exactly what it's called. But he's got this fantastic um sort of quizzy talk thing uh, series asking people about draft league and sort of pitting them against each other it's very entertaining trust me go and look at it anyway um Borussia Donfan Elsis or his team he can choose from the following ones it is Mega Beedrill Delphox Steelix Mothim Volcarona Celebi Wigglytuff Pinsir Rotom Cut and Yan Mega so his sort of big couple of weaknesses are fire and rock um yeah so that's kind of what I was looking to capitalize on with my team, so the ones I brought, you'll see them on the screen, I'm looking to the right so I can see exactly what I've got. I've got a Choice Scarf Me, Nectric, uh, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Flamethrower, and Hidden Power Rock. Um, we've got a Dragon Dancing, Jolly, Mega, Tyranitar with Rock Slide, Fire Punch, and Iron Head. Uh, Iron Head mainly for the Wigglytuff if you wanted to bring that. Uh, we have got a Life Orb Persian, Jolly again with Taunt, Fake Out, U-Turn, Knockoff. We've got um, a physically defensive sh uh, Shardock the Porygon 2. I went mainly physically defensive when I went defensive because his team is very physical overall. This thing has Recover, Signal Beam, Thunder Wave, and Tri-Attack. Um, Signal Beam I think was on there for the Celebi and the Rotom Cut, yeah. <clears throat> then we have a sort of lead Torterra with the Focus Sash, uh, Defensive Impish, Stealth Rock, Toxic, Rock Slide, Earthquake. And finally, we have Orkberry Klefki, just in case you wanted to bring uh, the Delphox or the Volcarona. <clears throat> we got Thunder Wave, Light Screen, Hidden Power Rock once again, and Magnet Rise. Now, as you can see, uh, Lars's team, he's got the Volcarona, the Wigglytuff, Pinsir, Steelix, Mega Beedrill, and the Yan Mega, uh, which he basically bought the Yan Mega, I think, because I gave it to him. I also gave him the Mega Beedrill. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure, you know, if I can certainly, if I can get set up with... Um, with Tyranitar, we can do a lot of work to this team. I've got a lot of rock coverage that will hit so many of his things. Um, I wasn't worried about Wigglytuff, Steelix. I felt like I could deal with uh, residual chip damage, whatever was going on there. So, uh, yeah, that was my thinking going into it. I have my guaranteed lead. It's going to be my Torterra. So, without further ado, let's get right into the game. See how things played out. So, I'm going to lead with my Torterra, of course. He's going to lead with the Wigglytuff, he finds my Sash. I just want to get rocks up. But, he's a cheeky bitch. He goes for Magic Coat. Very nicely played. I didn't expect that. So, um, rocks are on my side. But, I've got more rocks than he's got Magic Coats. And they don't bother me too much. And he's the one that has Defog. So, he's going to get rid of them on my side anyway. So, I'm going to keep going for rocks until he stops going for Magic Coat. He goes for Drain Punch, which does laughable damage. And here, I'm just going to go for Earthquake. Test the water. See how much we can do as he goes for Wish. Uh, now... At this point, I'm going to go for a Rock Slide, thinking he might try and pass it into something uh, like the Yan Mega, but he just goes for Drain Punch, and he's just kind of wearing me down as much as he can, but this should be a one-on-one -on -one I can try and win. I'll go for Toxic here, just try and scout his heal bell if he has it. He's going to go for the Wish once again, and I think here I just go for Earthquake, just to go for damage. Now, does he have the heal bell? Yes, he does. So, there it is. There's his full moveset. We know that. Uh, he can't really touch me. Um... But I can't really do too much to him. I'm going to go into my Persian right about now. <clears throat> As he goes for the Wish. And I'm just going to go for the Fake Out. No particular reason not to. I know he's going to get all that health back. Um, but, you know, you do what you can. Now here, I'm pretty sure he's not going to Magic Coat. So I do just go for the Taunt. Um, which means no more Wish shenanigans. But he does 
just straight up go for Drain Punch, I guess, probably predicting that. So, I don't want to take this thing out with, uh, I don't want him to take me out too early. So I go into Torterra, uh, who doesn't take any damage, and I'm just like, why is this thing such a problem? I have nothing for it. But at this point, he's going to start playing, and he's going to go into Yan Mega as I go for the Earthquake. So a nice switch on his part. And here, I predict Defog, and he goes for Air Slash and just takes me out. And it's like, ah, oh, he's playing me like a fiddle. And now he gets a speed boost, and I'm just like, ah, oh, goddammit. So I go into my neck trick right about now, and I can go for the Hidden Power Rock, but he does go for the Protect. Um, so he gets that one right, I go for Hidden Power Rock, and it's like, ah, oh, for God's sake, come on now, this is getting ridiculous. So, gonna go into Klefki, he can't touch me, I can take him out, hopefully, with my own Hidden Power Rock or Paralyze him, but now he goes for Defog, and I'm just like, ah, oh, for God's sake, Lars, stop playing me so well. I couldn't believe it, it was awful. Um, but here, he is going to switch out into his Steelix. I was becoming so very done at this point. Hidden Power Rock is doing absolutely nothing to this Steelix, of course. Now here, I'm just going to go for Magnet Rise for no other reason that I can. Um, just to show him that I can I can play this game as well. So uh, now I'm going to switch out, go into P2, uh, who can sponge any here, and he's going to go for Heavy Slam and, and kind of do a little bit of damage. Now here, I'm just going to go for tri attack I'm fishing for a burn, I'm not going to lie, um, as he goes for a Toxic. So now, I want a timer, I just need to get a burn on this thing, that's ideal. Anything else would be okay, but I'm going to keep going for tri attack i uh, not going to get anything from it from this time. He's going to go for an Earthquake and do, you know, tiny amounts of damage. This is just like two idiots hitting each other with fish, like we're getting nowhere. I go for my third tri attack I still don't get anything off it, which is unfortunate. I was becoming a little bit frustrated right about now. Um, and here, Lars is going to make the play. He's going to switch out, knowing I die next turn, go into his Wigglytuff. As I go for my fourth try attack and still get nothing from it. So that's unfortunate. Um, and Shardock goes down without doing too much. Um, here, I'm going to go into my Persian. And he is going to pull a switch. He's going to go into his Steelix. As I just go for the knockoff to get rid of that thing's leftovers. That's fine. And here, he's going to pull a switch once again, this time into the Wigglytuff. Uh, as I just go for Torn, because I didn't want him to get rocks up. So uh, now this thing, at the very least, has to attack me. Um, I'm just going to go for the knockoff here, just to get rid of its leftovers, knowing that the Drain Punch is going to take me out. And now it's 6-3, to three and we are not looking good. It's looking like a horrible, horrible time, but this is my opportunity. Going to go into T-Tile, this thing is clearly defensive. I'm going to Mega Up, and I'm going to go for the Iron Head, which doesn't take him out, doesn't flinch. He goes for the Drain Punch, and it does laughable damage for a four-time super effective move, but I see that as an opportunity. Like, he can't take me out. I'm gonna go for Dragon Dance. Now it's time to set up. So he's gonna go for the Drain Punch here, um, and he's gonna put me in range of the next one, so now I have to start attacking, but that's fine. I'm okay with it. I go for the Iron Head. That is gonna take out the Wigglytuff, so finally that bane of my existence is gone. So in comes the Pinsir, and I go for the Fire Punch, and that just takes it out. Turns out he was Scarf, but he EV'd it wrong, so I outsped him like that. In comes the Steelix. I'm going to go for Fire Punch. It's pretty much game over, but finally we get the burn. We get the burn, and that saves my ass, because Earthquake does not take us out. And that is just absolutely fantastic, that 10% chance coming through. We go for the Fire Punch. Big crit there on the Steelix, and we take it out. Now, here it is. I'm going to pause real quick. Yan Mega is in. And now we have to play this game. We have to play the 50-50 Protect or Not game. Here's the situation. If he protects and I attack, he wins. Or at least he takes out my Tyranitar. If he protects and I Dragon Dance, I just, there, he has no chance. He has no chance at all. I absolutely destroy him. If I attack and he doesn't protect, I win. And if I attack and he, hang on, I'm confused. Which one have I not said? And if yeah, if he attacks and I Dragon Dance, I lose <clears throat> my Trinus and possibly the game. So basically, what it comes down to is: is he going to protect or is he not? Let's see what happens. He goes for the protect. We go for Dragon Dance. Easiest prediction of my life. That is fantastic. And now I'm like, if he gets the protect, I'm going to punch something. But he doesn't. He tries for it. He doesn't get it. I fire punch. Down goes the Ann Mega. And now all he has left. Oh, the rest of his bugs. In comes the Volcarona. I have the Rock Slide. I'm going to go for it, and that is going to be a very dead Volcarona. And now the last thing left is Beedrill. I don't have to risk a Rock Slide here. I can just go for the Fire Punch. It will take it out. The big crit, I very, very highly doubt matters. And that, ladies and gents, is going to be the game. Ah, <laughs> oh, it was fun. It was frustrating at the start with that 
goddamn Wigglytuff. Of all things to cause me problems, it was Wigglytuff. I couldn't believe it. I was in very, very close danger of getting incredibly salty about it. But, um, <laughs> we managed to come back from 6-3 to win 3-0. Mega Tyranitar getting all six KOs in the game. Uh, a massive win condition for me. Um, that 10% burn chance from Fire Punch coming through against the Steelix. Uh, whether it would have mattered all that much, I don't know, because Scarf Main Etric was looking to be able to clean up, unless I think it will still have outsped the Mega Beedrill if he had Protect. But, um, yeah. Good first game. Thank you very much for the game, Lars. Um, and this is just the kind of thing you can see where this, this, uh, this league is going, you know. We all have to try and make up for our horrific weaknesses that we've been given by other people. Um, and, you know, Lars nearly did it. A lot of fighting coverage, Wigglytuff being a, an issue. It was unfortunate for him that he hadn't quite sped crept the, um, the pincer correctly. Uh, that could have been an issue, sort of a late game for me. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it from this one. Next week, oh, next week, I believe, we play George, um, Septile MC, another absolutely fantastic battler. Um, so facing off against him is going to be interesting. He's got another one of those teams that, as far as teams in this league go, is fairly viable. So um, we're going to have to see exactly what we can do about that. But that is a story for another day. Um, keep your eyes peeled for that kind of content that's going to be coming out, hopefully, in the not-too-distant future. Uh, but I'm going to get out of here, so my final thank you to you all for watching. And I guess with that, I'll see you next time. Laters.